Welcome to Yoga Bliss with Shelly and I am Shelly. Welcome to day 16 of our challenge. Here's my inspired painting that I created yesterday who I am in so much love with. It is super cold outside. I'm in my backyard. It's so crazy. I can feel the seasons changing. We are here on this lovely Sunday morning rising with the sun for some sun salutation yoga. We're going to do some sun rising yoga. Begin with your feet facing the short edge of the mat. Feet grounded in, I put on a little shawl. If it's cold, I could probably wear like warmer pants <laughs> too. Taking a moment to just settle into the feet, planting the four corners of the feet into the earth. Breathing in a breath from the heart, finding some length from the spine, rolling back at the shoulders, opening the heart, bringing the hands to the heart space. The sun is beautiful, it's peaceful and serene. And as you notice, there's not many people awake at all because it's early and we rise with the sun, huh, Jackie? Inhale, rise the arms up to the sun. Exhale, hinging at the heart, allowing the arms to ragdoll forward in utasana, a forward fold here. Yes. Taking a few breaths into the body, option here to press at the elbows if you don't have a little guy putting his head in your backside. <laughs> and bringing the hands down to the mat, creating a wide open starfish hand, stepping back one foot, stepping back the other foot. So we're a plank pose. Jack, do not give me a wet willy. He's <laughs> trying to give me a wet willy. A plank pose, slowly dropping the knees down to the mat. So do not give me a wet willy. This stinker is killing me. <laughs> wet willy. Coming in for a, a bhaktasana, a devotional. Uh, allowing the tips of the big toes to touch together and opening up the knees if this feels good. Yeah. You can sink back yeah. into yeah, the heels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it might not look like this for you. You might need to have a blanket or a pillow between your legs. Exhaling. Elongating the arms long. Creating a wide open starfish hand here. I'm just raising my head so you can hear me, but resting your forehead on the mat here in this bhaktasana. Slowly. Inhale to rise. Slowly, a little variation for that little bit of that inchworm. So we're envisioning there's a ball. If you followed us, we actually did roll a ball and it's really hard. <laughs> Rolling with the ball, squeezing the arms in. Coming in for an inchworm, move your legs harder with the guy in your back. Inhaling, rising up, giving yourself a soft bhujangasana cobra. The shoulders have a tendency, the elbows to wing out, so really tucking them in. Okay, should we do a cobra hiss? Ready? Hissing your cobra. Exhaling here. Okay, all right, can you get off of my back real quick? <laughs> I'm doing a little modified sun salutation. Exhale, Jack, I'm gonna hurt you. I don't wanna hurt you. Exhaling, pushing the booty straight up into down facing dog. <laughs> Inhaling, one leg up and planting. <laughs> I can't do it with Jack on my back. <laughs> Inhaling, planting one foot forward and one foot back for a crescent lunge. <laughs> for a runner's lunge. Option to rest one knee down on the earth. Hey Jackie, I love you, but you're really hurting mommy's body right now. I can't hold you during this practice today. Exhaling, working through distractions is always, always my theme. Inhale, rising up, finding strength from the core, rising up. You can step forward, rising the arms up, hands on the hips, hips facing forward. Inhale, rising up here, find that soft back bump, bend for that crescent lunge here, big breath into the hips. Exhaling, diving that hand forward and stepping that opposite foot forward. Coming back for that forward fold. Inhale, rise up to the sun. Hello, sun. Taking a moment to feel what that feels like inside. Feel what it feels like in your legs. Feel the energy, maybe the heat you've created. I'm already feeling much warmer than I was when I first came out here. I was feeling very, a little overwhelmed and challenged by this guy. 
Better late than never, my friends, setting an intention for your practice, which will carry on with you for the rest of your day, hopefully. Today I'm taking a Reiki uh, master's level class. So my intention is to be open. Today I'm going to be open to whatever comes to me. So whatever your intention is, hold on to that. Whoosh, put that inside, lock it inside, hold it in there. And if you don't have an intention, grab onto mine to be open today. Exhaling, diving the hands forward. Come hands forward, forward fold, utasana. Sweeping Jackie boy, giving him a little favor. <laughs> Option to grab elbows to elbows. Setting up for that wide open starfish hand. And I know sometimes this can be really tricky. Either you can fall, go right into this or it's really challenging. So if you need to really bend down and put one foot back into plank pose, other foot back into plank. And the plank gets confused a lot of times with Auto Mukha Savasana down dog. So really working at squeezing the feet. Well, Jack's pushing, but you want to create a straight line on your back. So sometimes it, people, it will look too high up where it's sunken down like up dog. So doing your best here to make that back straight, really pushing up through the shoulders, rolling the biceps, slowly working down to your knees, coming in for that devotional. You know what this looks like? Exhaling long. Are you keeping warm, Jackie? Giving yourself some calming breaths Mommy, here. Tight. Allowing your forehead to rest down Mommy. into the earth. Ah. Giving yourself love and gratitude for showing up for yourself and for this mm -hmm. practice. My practice wouldn't be complete without a wacky Jackie, is what we call him. So really tucking, really coming in for that wide open starfish hand, planting into the earth, really hugging the elbows together. I can't do this for this pose, thank you. You can lay on your tummy. Coming in for that, this is a chaturanga variation, envisioning yourself hugging in through the elbows and rolling that marble. So it's gonna go nose, chest to tummy. And if you don't have Jack under you, then you come up to Cobra. But I would get my chest down pretty low, but I don't wanna smash this guy. Inhale, rising up. You can also choose Ordva Mukha Savasana, which is up dog, which is a more full extension. And over Cobra is going to be that gentler variation. We're going to up dog it since Jack's here and we don't want to smash around in him. Really tuning into that strength from the starfish hand, pressing up through the hind feet, pushing the sit bones all the way back, rolling the biceps out, finding strength from the core, really pressing up, trying to get that heart close to those thighs, inhaling in that down dog, walking out your dog here. Exhaling the opposite foot, rising it up to the sun, whatever that looks like to you. My hip is falling out because I'm trying to rise, raise it too far. And this doesn't have to look perfect. It, it looks different every day. Inhale, tucking, and whatever this looks like. I have some students who need to walk this foot forward. Option to stay down on this high knee here. Option to extend and squeeze up through the thighs. Really rooting down to the four corners of the foot in the front. Tuning into that knee alignment over the ankle here, hugging the thighs together, finding strength from the core, hands on the hips, hips facing forward. Option to keep posted up on that hind foot. I feel good where I am because I'm afraid of smashing this guy. Inhale, raising up, oh, yeah. really squeezing the insides of the hamstrings and the glutes together here. Inhale, rising the arms up to a T, rising up to a front. Coming in for this beautiful soft back. Opening up the heart here, squeezing the shoulders back. Opening up the heart, soft tummy, humble tuck to the chin, my ear. Exhale, allowing the arms to come down. Stepping the opposite foot forward. Forward fold, inhale, rising up to the sun. Let's do this one more time now that we don't have Jack here. And if you can, if you want to speed it up, you can, or taking it slow, I'll just guide you gently through. Rising up to the sun hands and arms by mudra, palms, kissing palms, tuning back to that intention. For me, it's an intention of being open, open, open. Exhale, hinging forward at the hips for utasana, a forward fold, folding forward, maybe allowing the hips to sway side to side here. Big, beautiful breath into the back of the heart. 
I'm not going to put that line open starfish hand. I'm going to put that plank pose here. Pressing up through the shoulder blades, rolling through the biceps. Inhale, slowly floating the knees down to the earth. However, your Bhattasana looks set up for that. Driving those sit bones back. Elonging the arms. And this is one of those poses where you can feel it really well, much better if you create an active hand, which is just going to be opening the hand instead of just kind of a floppy hand. Let's have integrity and love for ourselves by giving ourselves some extra love in our hands. Inhale and coming into that chaturanga variation. So slow and steady, rolling that marble with the nose, hugging the elbows together, hugging it at the thighs. Inhale, rising up to that cobra, if that's what feels good to you. Or fully extending, really pressing in through the starfish hand, going through the pointer and the thumb, squeezing in at the elbows. Beautiful Urdhva Mukha Savasana, up dog. Twisting side to side. And sometimes I will say in these vlogs, I totally will mess up the Sanskrit, so sorry for that. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Slowly exhaling here. Opening up the hands. So we were on, we've done this two times. We're actually gonna have to do one more whole round to even out our body. Inhaling that right foot forward, tuning into whatever feels best for you. I'm gonna go for the crescent or for the runner's lunge. Inhale, really powering up through the thighs. Inhale, rising up to the sun. Crescent lunge here. Anjaneyasana, beautiful breath into the body. If you wanna switch it up, you can bring the hands to the heart. Take a soft twist to one side, my friends. Really hugging through the thighs. If you're feeling wobbly, that's okay. You can float down to that knee or really hug those thighs in together. Inhaling to neutral, exhale to lift through the opposite side, really ringing out the spine here. Big breath into the heart. Big breath into neutral. Exhale, diving the arms down, stepping that foot forward taking a moment and slowly and mindfully rolling up at the spine. Each vertebrae by vertebrae. And pausing. And just feeling the cultivation of energy of what is within. Hands to the heart center. The sun is so beautiful with my eyes closed. It's like this incredible glowing light just like washing over me, giving me so much love and just so much energy. I'm feeling so supported by the universe right now. One last time, my beautiful friends on the opposite side here. Slowly and mindfully, let's take this one slow. Exhale, hinge forward. Ragdolling. Breath. Tying the breath into the body. Now we know our movements. Let's really anchor ourselves with our breath and really do our best to work with the body. Exhaling down, really pressing down and connecting with the earth, with the hands, the pointer, the thumb, and then stretching all the way through the pinky. My shoulders are wider, so I like to drop my pinkies off the edge of the mat, slowly and mindfully stepping one foot back, engaging that foot, really engaging the calf, the hamstring, and the glutes before you even step back that other foot, so it's like your support now really pressing up into this plank pose here. Really pushing up through your shoulder blades, rolling out. Take three deep, expansive breaths here. Squeezing at the core. Deep breath of love. Feeling that inner strength. Slowly floating the knees down. Coming to that back toss and up. Allowing the arms to stretch forward. Really feeling a little relaxation here. Not worrying what we're doing next and what we've done before and just being here. And slowly and mindfully coming in for that chaturanga variation that works best for you. Coming in for your cobra if that feels good or your urdhva mukha savasana, your up dog. So if you choose to be on the top of your feet, really the weight is not in your feet. You're using your core, your glutes, your hamstrings, hugging the hamstrings in. I used to always... I used to not be able to do this pose because I was putting all of my weight in my feet. I mean, yes, you can feel a stretch on the top of your feet. Or even, I've tried doing it like this. This can work too if that really hurts your feet. Because it definitely can. Slowly exhaling. Down to the earth. Taking a moment. Pausing. 
tuning into that starfish hand, really rooting up through the sit bones, pressing the sit bones up higher, walking out the dog here, rolling the biceps out here, maybe giving a soft tuck to the chin, doing a few yeses, a few noes. Yes, I like this. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Inhale, rising up the opposite foot, keeping both hips square down to the mat. Inhale, journeying that foot forward, whatever that looks like to you. So tuning in for that crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana, how that looks best for you. Really being aware of the integrity of your body, of your foot below your ankle and your knee aligned, both hips facing forward using strength from the core. If you choose to be down on the knee, just tune back to that hind foot. Track back and check the alignment of your ankle, your knee, and your hip. If you choose to post up, really engage and activate the core, the hamstrings. We have five huge hamstring muscles that wrap all the way around our thigh. So really feeling what that feels like to squeeze, coarsen that core string. Inhale, rising the arms straight up to the side. Growing, growing, growing the Anjaneyasana. And if you a little wobbly well I think that's okay inhale find that core that strength that stability and be where you are inhale rising finding that soft back bend big beautiful breath into the heart friends embracing what is letting go of what isn't exhale hands to heart center Anjane Mudra exhale twisting to one side pausing being here Inhaling to neutral. If your legs are fighting you, work past the mental turmoil. Your body is amazing. You can do it. Twisting that body. Slowly tuning into this beautiful pancake. Exhaling. Hands forward. Exhale, stepping both hands forward. And taking a moment to cool down from the sun salutation series. And allow yourself to dangle here. Just be weightless in this inversion. And feel what that feels like in your body. Slowly and mindfully pressing up into your Tadasana, the mountain. Rolling each vertebrae by each vertebrae. Coming up to standing here. And allowing yourself to just be and feel what that feels like inside of your body. Tuning back into that intention being open, hands to the heart space, giving yourself so much love and gratitude for showing up for yourself and showing up for this practice. And I'm so grateful for you, my beautiful friends. And if you would like, you can always finish with a little savasana or sukhasana. I'm going to get ready. I have a Reiki training today that I'm gonna be open for. And if you would like, always, I would love to send you some Reiki energy. So you can just put your name below and say, yes, please, for Reiki. And I would love to just send you Reiki for no charge at all. I'm so grateful, my beautiful friends. For this practice, we're going to give one more peek to our inspiration of today, which is this beautiful piece I'm doing for my friend, Amy, inspired by her. She is true beauty. I'm kind of astonished by how amazing she is. I'm like, whoa, I'm an amazing artist. I am. <laughs> I love you so much, my beautiful friends. On this day, thank you so much for coming.